you know i don't know why it always happens like uh, when i'm almost to finish like all ultras i always think of the small things i, uh, I want to do once i finish <laughs> and mostly they are almo- either, either sleeping or drinking something and eating And at this moment is when, when I, I always realize ah, life, life can be so simple sometimes. <laughs> don't have to complicate things. It's about that moment and the rest can wait. <laughs> In a way, I, I always relate to try to like life back home when you are growing up. Since you are young, it's, it was more of survival. From the moment I saw my first video of a, of a neutral race, I knew this, this place is, we are, we are made of this. Uh, I've done cycling for like 10 years now and I've been up and down, up and down, uh, back home. Uh, I have been trying to jump off from like the amateur cycling and like try to, to race on the top level. Which I was like sliding down, like I like try to crawl to the top and then I slide down. like. After let uh, Sule did the bad runs, now there's this this thing which have come up and one of our guys have done it. It seems to be like a crazy idea, but the, the next year we had to, we were appearing for the Cape Epic. And all he could tell me, Kenneth, oh, if the bad runs did take me out, for sure. I feel like so many things I can overcome them. And like, yeah. To, we used to look up on Sule so well. Um, I also wanted to get the same thing. Atlas was my very first ultra race. And never had uh, experience of riding so many kilometers. This is from Morocco. He raced uh, as a pair with uh, Jeff, Jeff Lelengat. This is very precious. Things I have never <laughs> experienced in my life. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so keeping it like have good uh, good memories. After the days uh, waking up, I was like, I'm still alive, <laughs> and uh, I knew uh, if I, I learn and like do more of these places, this was my my thing. Definitely, I knew. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. You've done it before. Yeah. You know, if anything, this is gonna be the easiest one you've done because you're actually ready. <laughs> Just to swim. <laughs> Don't pass the car. See you in the other side. Start. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get. I have this energy of like wanting to go beyond my limit. And like it's, it comes from my heart. This year now, when I did the race around world, I knew how I would feel. I knew so many, so many things. But still, I wanted to test myself. Because the last, the last year before, there are some things I didn't do. So this year, I wanted to, to test again. This time round was 
about my sleep. I wanted to face the challenge directly and see. Because I had done my own investigation on how people stretches their sleep in like two days. With races like this, it's near home. I felt free like to try. And I was not going back like <laughs> from it. But I was leading the race and uh, I was feeling in control because I was always like 30 kilometers ahead. You know, sometimes you ride, you become a zombie, you become human. <laughs> the legs ache. <laughs> I didn't know when I was, now it was time now to say stay now. <laughs> My head was just ready, you know, keep moving, keep moving, we can do this. Now this is after two days. From there now, just took me so, so decision making, whether you stop for water, or you stop for, for anything. It would have been easier if I had slept like an hour or two. Now your brain is not understanding whatever is happening now. <laughs> Now like 140 to go, uh, uh, out, like. my eyes went dark. I had to go, of course, because I thought now my wahoo is dying to me so much. So unfortunately, I lost my like 80 kilometers lead. Yeah, I, sat, I actually sat, sat, sat down with the rockers and started chatting with them. And like, no, that, that's the town I, I slept. But I tell you, my body, I don't know. My head is not that good. And uh, the next morning, and I had to take a motorbike back to the point where I had got lost and continued the race. And that was a big, big, big lesson. But you know, uh, experience is, is a good teacher, so I ran to it <laughs> in my own way. Now I know. I know the limit, which I don't get to that position again. I'm so, so sorry. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I, killed, I killed myself. Yes, you killed yourself. I burnt the water and <laughs> couldn't cool it down. So every race you lose is a lesson you gain. You do, yeah. From uh, from the race around Rwanda, I knew I like, ha have to find another event which I can revive myself and feel happy for my efforts and everything. Track had been cancelled, lacking a visa to go to the Unbound XL. Now I knew my, my last shot was here in Bad Runs. Since I knew about to try, Bad Run was one of the events I, I did follow up on. But here, for the first thing, I, I want to enjoy. I don't want to go overboard like uh, in terms of uh, simple deviation. Last year I was here, I did it halfway before I got a mechanical. So another goal is to finish it. Yeah, I've been waiting for 
in the last two months we don't we just need to start. Hey, each time I could ask people like about Padra, you could say, ah, but you know, Padra now is a fast place and like everyone there is fast. So I was like, I'm also fast, so I will try to be in the mix. I knew there, there will be competition. I, did, I was really targeting a top 10. And uh, one thing uh, I knew is, uh, would be a challenge is, uh, is the heat. Back home also sometimes it gets so much hot. Maybe you're just doing your casual jobs there, maybe uh, in the farm. Sometimes I think uh, the body just have, have memories from the, the heat I've absorbed already and uh, it was burning me the right way. And each time I could get a, a rider, I was more motivated to go for the next one. maybe 10 hours or 12 hours this is this is a crucial time you have to let your head to know like you're going to another zone that's where I found um, the first guy once I got closer to him, I said, hey, horror, he said horror, he was friendly, so uh, I kept going. I started now descending, and I knew I'm there. I'm the guy who is now hunted by like, all the other guys behind. <laughs> I've always like, uh, had this feeling like I can really do well in the ultra races. At some point in the race, I, I was thinking maybe the other guys would be faster than me, maybe checking them, how they are doing things. But unfortunately, I found myself with not much experience in front of there. <laughs> you know, there is this, this belief that comes into your head, this thing is possible. The morning opened up and the ride is back and like I found the first restaurant and this was like a scene, scene God himself. The guy who was behind me, I noticed he had passed. Now because I had tasted the reed, my head was burning. Now I just wanted to, to bring him back and like keep him close. Some, something clicks from back from the past. <laughs> it always activates me. Like I'm on this deep time, maybe it's 20 kilometers, I'm halfway. Then I just remember some of the struggles I used to have and like, ah, this is nothing. Sometimes when you are doing the trade, it's hard to know what is really working on My you. Back is fine. Ah, shit! I could feel my back, like my lower back, like the muscles are like starting to lock. They were actually rocking. At the moment, it, it doesn't feel so much because you are going with the adrenaline and the competitive thing in mind. And, but um, I knew at some point I would pay for that. I caught up with the, the first guy and I knew I had put a handle to that point where he had to like push, push, push. 
I was in it. I knew how, how we were digging together, like chasing each other each time. 10 kilometer gap, closing up, opening 10, closing up, 20 minutes closing. It was so much. Is this guy gonna beat me on this course. He's really gonna really work hard. What I have noticed with this is all ultras, the last bit is special in its own way. It's just hard. <laughs> Ultra is one of the things that make me go beyond what I think I can manage. It makes me learn a lot, like appreciate the small things, like having a, a cup of a cup of tea in the morning, having lunch, because it's unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it was a more of a. How, they, how your body is, whether you are so much beaten up or your, your cables are still attached. Uh, yeah, when I got to 100 to go, uh, my back was really bad. It was really painful. That's when also the, uh, the second guy just cruised past the restaurant. And um, from there now I knew uh, it was not a question of like, like uh, going so hard. It was also like me thinking about my back, whether I, I will get I might push it so much. I would I wouldn't say I was satisfied with second, but at the end I will take it home. <laughs> For sure, yeah, it was a good feeling. Like there are lessons, but uh, you know you live with them. I can feel now I'm uh, I'm quite moving with ultra. If we can inspire other boys and girls not just to do the ultra but do listening and look it in other different ways and try different things then that would be really good. There's more, there's more, <laughs> there's more still I have to, to experience. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, it's just the beginning.